Juanita, let's just pack. let's just start. Want me to keep it on? Okay, we're gonna start on time, and I just realized that clock's up there, which is good because I don't have a decent watch right now. Um, first of all, I want to thank you and welcome you all for coming. Um, I really am encouraged by the interest in this forum. I personally think it's a great idea to, for everybody that gets to vote to meet the candidates personally and hear what they have to say. So that's why that's why I um, uh, decided to put this on and my the chamber board supported me in this effort. And so Cindy came through and helped with all the the details and here we are. For our format this evening, we will be asking uh, six questions total. Uh, five of those have been generated by the chamber from other meetings that we have attended recently. And these are questions that have come up and have been common themes throughout these meetings. The sixth question will be an audience question and it's from those little papers that are in the back there. So if you have a question or two you'd like to submit, they go in that little fishbowl, and when it's time for the sixth question, we'll draw from that fishbowl, and that will be the six questions. What about the questions you've submitted to me over the last week or so, or the extra questions? We are going to tally those up and collect them and summarize them, group them by theme, and send them out to all the candidates. It is their choice of whether they want to respond to them or not, and if they want to respond to any one particular question. The responses will be submitted on our website. So you will um, get a chance to get feedback on those questions as well. Um, no, just tell them we're recording. Oh, we are recording this on video and um, Pampin Media is supposed to be here, but I don't think I've seen them yet. Yeah. So um, with that, that's pretty awesome. I didn't get to see this ahead of time, so she always surprises me. Um, with that, I'm going to give each candidate one minute to uh, introduce themselves and say uh, what they're focused on or what they're all about. And I'm going to start with Melinda Wenzel. Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming. My name is Melinda Wenzel, and I'm running for mayor of Horse Grove. I have eight years of experience serving on the Horse Grove City Council. Three of those years, I have been elected as the city council president where I have presided over several meetings. I have 21 years of experience as a teacher at the Forest Grove School District. This has allowed me to connect city policy to the community from a unique perspective. The mayor position is significant in that it would allow me to empower the entire community. Um, while also having the council, wait, sorry, let me start over. Allow me to empower the entire council to work collaboratively. Working as a team allows our city to be more broadly represented in multiple areas. I represent four groups of people. Individuals with disabilities, families, women, and the working community of Fort Grove. The mayor can be a champion for all kinds of people in our community. And I think it's time for Fort Grove to show a different face and perspective to the public. <laughs> Sorry, 
right, I'm going to have to be a little tougher than I'd like to be, but we, we barely could get these questions in with eight candidates. So, Tim? So before my time starts, I would like to take the opportunity to thank the Chamber for putting on this forum and for thanking Woodfold for sponsoring it. I think it's extremely important that we have this opportunity to uh, present the candidates and that the voters have a chance to get informed about who they're going to select for the next city council. Thank you. I'm a fourth generation American, and I'm descended from ancestors who immigrated from Germany and Poland to avoid the wars in Europe and to seek economic opportunity. And to vote for uh, for the opportunity in a democracy that represented the people. My educational background includes a Bachelor of Science degree from the uh, United States Military Academy at West Point and two master's degree, one of which is a, a Master of Business Administration from the University of Iowa. My entire adult life, I have been demonstrated leadership in the military, in business, academia, healthcare, and public office. I'm in my second term, and on City Council, and I hope to uh, serve you as the mayor over the next four years. I'm a 22-year veteran of the United States Army and am passionate about uh, our democracy and representing the people in public service. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone, and thank you to all of you for being here today. I'm Mariana Valenzuela. And I'm a native of Chile. Uh, I became a U.S. citizen many years ago, and I'm a proud American citizen. Um, I know talent. I understand talent very well. I raised two children as a single mother, even before my divorce. And I could consider myself a single mother, and now they are outstanding adults, uh, of whom I'm very, very proud. And I came to the city council two years ago. I've been serving the community for two years. And um, I was very grateful and felt very blessed to have the opportunity to have been chosen uh, to take the position. And uh, I would like to uh, continue doing that hard work. I have a teaching experience of over 30 years at Pacific University and other institutions of higher education. And currently, I am the Director of Community Partnerships and Advocacy at Centro Cultural. So um, I will ask uh, that you take my record into account when you make a decision. And thank you again for taking this time to be here this beautiful evening. welcome people to Aloha in Hawaii. Aloha. Um, my name is Walana Groombridge and I've been serving on the CD budget uh, committee for I think going on four years now. I have enjoyed every moment of it. I'm running for city council because I believe in the city of Forest Road. I was born and raised in a little tiny island called American Samoa. I came from a family of politicians so you can imagine the discussion at the dinner table <laughs> as to where, who's voting for who and who's running for what. But for me, I've been here in Forest Grove for eight years and love every moment of it. My focus is bringing culture back in Forest Grove, helping our homeless community come up with solutions, um, advancing programs in our recreational area, and overall the lifestyle of the city of Forest Grove. Okay. Well, I want to join um, in thanking again the Chamber of Commerce um, and Woodfold. It's a tremendous opportunity that we have here to speak um, and to really let you know who we are. My name is Laana Littlefield. Um, I was excited to run for City Council because for me, something that I love about Council is that it's nonpartisan. It's a nonpartisan elected community member to represent the community. It's not about Democrats, it's not about Republicans. This is about serving our community. That's something that my husband and I, as we've raised our three sons here in Forest Grove, we have immersed ourselves in service. 
I have served as the Booster Club president um, for eight years. I have served on committees, um, on boards. I have served, we've raised over $200,000 for academic program at Forest Grove. Um, it's just a, a pleasure to serve this community, and that's why I have really, really been pleased to say that I am running for city council to run on behalf of our community. Not on behalf of an agenda, not on a, a political basis, but for our community to better our children, to better education, to better the lives of those who are struggling, those who feel marginalized, to support our seniors. Really, it's about coming together and to find the commonality. We all have things in common. Doesn't mean that we agree on how to get there, but we, if we unite and find what we believe in and start there as a basis, we can continue to thrive and to drive Forest Grove in a place in which we can all be proud. Thank you. Hello and happy Thursday. That's the greeting that many children at Forest Grove High School receive from me every day as I'm serving them breakfast and lunch. And I'm loving every moment working with them and getting to see their desire for community. Um, I have lived in Forest Grove for 25 years. I have an amazing husband, Lance, and six incredible kids, four grandchildren. Um, I am a habitual volunteer. For the last 15 years or so, I have volunteered for summer lunches in the park. For the last four years, I've been the volunteer coordinator. For the last six years, I have packed backpacks and food boxes through the Forest Grove Elks Department. So, or not Elks, the Elks Club, sorry. Um, I have seen um, people at their best 